Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we'll see how to save script card formatting information off as a template so that you can reuse it over and over again. So here's a quick example where I've got all these settings which are defining the color scheme for my Paladins script cards over here. And then I've got a second color scheme here in this script card which is for my Druid's color palette. This is great, but the issue comes about when you create lots of these script cards for a given character. For starters, you're going to wind up writing the formatting information over and over again for every single script card, which adds lines to it. And second, if we decide later on that we want to change one of these colors, we have to go through and do it for every single card. So today, I'll show you two ways you can store this information off as a template so we can replace all these lines of code with a single line that's going to look like this. And this is going to make our script cards much more compact and will allow us the flexibility to change the formatting in one place rather than having to change it in every single card. Note that because we're using mods, a pro account is required to do what I'm about to show you. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we've got script cards installed in our game. So go into your game's settings page, head over to the mod library, and you can grab script cards right from this drop down right here. Just type the word script cards and you'll see it pop up. Script cards comes to us from the amazing Kurt Jagers. Kurt, thank you so much for building this mod. It is quite literally a game changer. All right, so let's jump back into our game. And I've got my trusty Notepad++ window right here. And the first thing that we want to do is isolate the formatting information for our card, right? So this is the green background for my Druid. So what I'm going to do is just copy these lines right here. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to put in a new script card. So exclamation point script. And then two open curly braces and two closing curly braces paste in the formatting information like so, and then I'm gonna add one more line to this, and this line is dash S settings. And what this tells script cards to do is save all of the settings information that we have here as a template, and the template name is going to be Druid Format. So if I take this right now, and I copy it and paste it into my game, you see, we just get this message that says script cards. There's no other output here. Okay. But now if we take our original script card right here, and I'm going to remove all of the formatting information, and I'm going to replace it with this command dash dash L settings, which means load settings. And the settings that we're loading are the Druid format settings. So now we copy this and we paste it and run it and there we go our card has the correct formatting okay but where is this information actually living well the information gets stored in the roll 20 game itself and you can view the information for your template just by running this command exclamation point sc dash list stored settings and when you run that command you get a list of all the templates that you've created so far so here's my druid format and if I click show, I can see all of the settings information that make up that card. And if I decide I want to change something, like maybe I want to change the font color here from the green to say white, I can just press edit and then move my notepad window. Here's the original value. I can change this to a new value. So this is the hex code for white click submit. Now we get a message saying that the color has been updated. So if we come back into our script card and we run our code that has the L settings command in it again, you can see that it updated the title font color to be white. And what's awesome about this now is any other card that we had that used this L settings command to read in the Druid format settings is going to be updated automatically. We don't need to go through and change every single card. So if you have a whole library of script cards for a particular character or for a particular operation, like when traps fire or when spells fire or things like that, all of those will inherit the formatting settings automatically. And that just makes the script card maintenance a whole lot easier. 
All right, so in the beginning of the video, I told you there were going to be two ways we could do this. And this is the first approach where we use dash dash s settings and dash dash l settings, and we save our template information into whatever game we're currently working in. And if you're only running one game or if you're only playing in one game, that solves your problem. You're all set good to go. But if you run multiple games and you want to share all of these templates across those games, this approach is not exactly super efficient because it requires you to run these sorts of mini script cards over and over again in each game. So it would be much easier if we had, say, a character sheet that contained all this information that we could then transmogrify from one game to another. And lo and behold, Kurt thought of that too. So in order to do this, what you want to do is make sure you have a character in your game called script cards underscore storage. It is case sensitive and has to look exactly like this. Capital S in script, capital C in cards, underscore capital S in storage. If it's not formatted exactly like this, it will not work properly. So let's scoot this guy off to the side for a moment and bring back our notepad window. So let's make the template for our paladins settings now. It's gonna look similar to start with, script, and then two sets of curly braces. Let's grab our color formatting from up top here. Just cut that, bring it down. And now the command we're gonna use is gonna be similar to dash dash S settings, but it's actually gonna be dash dash s hash mark, and then the name of your template, which in this case I'm gonna say is Paladin, and then all settings, which means it's gonna take all of these items here and save it in the template called Paladin. So let's go ahead and let's run this. And very similar to what we saw before, we just get the script cards title bar there. But now if we look at our script cards storage character sheet and go to attributes and abilities, at the very bottom, we can see now all of the settings related to our Paladin have been added as attributes. So we can minimize this guy out of the way again, and we can use our original script card here. I'm gonna put in a new command called dash dash L hash mark Paladin all settings. So let's copy this and run it. And there we go, we've got all of the settings being loaded from the script card's storage character sheet. I could then tweak my druid's mini script card here, and I could make this druid all settings. And now when I run this, it's gonna put all of the druid's information onto the script card storage sheet as well. And now what's really nice about this is I could then take this character sheet that has all of my script card template information in it, so we got Paladin and we got Druid, and I could transmogrify that into another game, and then that game is gonna have access to all these templates as well. I could just run these script cards exactly as they were without having to recreate all of the template information. So there you have it, saving script card formatting information off as templates. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.